So, I haven't been playing this a ton, but I just picked it back up again because I have to walk back and forth to a bus, and that takes time. So, I was just going to pop in and give a couple updates. I am not a low whistle player, I'm a violin player, so if anybody else is picking up a low whistle for the first time, even if it's something fancy like this guy, I recommend just figuring out how to close the holes first. So, for the first couple of weeks, I've just been doing regular old scales up and down. Um, and then I found another whistle player who suggested this kind of exercise. And that helps you get the break, which I'm not super great at yet. The other trick that I've learned that I'm not sure if it's actually a low whistle person thing or just a me thing because I have small hands, but I have been, when I have to let go with this hand, I don't feel very secure, especially once you have like only one finger here. So in part, if you have one finger up here, you can actually put your finger back on this hole and it doesn't really change the tune that much or the tone. It's, it's a little bit, changes the note a teeny bit, but not too bad if you're just going from, past it quickly. But the other thing I've discovered is if I have to let go of this hand, I rock and then I can put that finger back. When I rock down here, I actually lose the muscle memory of where these holes get closed, so I have been having to rock back, so... Right, that's the difference. So for, I don't know, C to sky, for example, that's where I would put my pinky down. And then I would rock back, put my finger back up. that's really logical. Maybe I'll get rid of it as I figure out the actual muscle memory, but for now, it's helping me actually go over the break. Um. 